Now, the family of an eight-month-old baby and his auntie who were killed in a motorway crash are calling for mandatory life driving bans for anyone convicted of causing death by dangerous driving. Daryl Anderson was jailed for 17 years and banned from driving for 21 years. He had been drunk and was travelling at speeds of more than 140 miles an hour. The family of Zachary Blades and Carlene Warner say he should never be allowed behind the wheel again, as Abby Smitten reports. <laughs> Eight-month-old Zachary Blades, a little boy who never got the chance to grow up. Laughing, sat to Mama as well. Um, didn't get to say Dad at all, but... He was killed alongside his aunt, Carlene, in a horrific crash on the A1 in County Durham in May. I didn't realise how loved she was until, until she was gone. Carlene's sister, Shalona, Zachary's mum, had gone to pick her up from Newcastle Airport. Zach was in the back seat. This man, Daryl Anderson, had also been on a flight. He'd been drinking but chose to get behind the wheel of his car. He was spotted driving at speeds of 140 miles per hour, taking photos of himself behind the wheel. He rammed into their car, killing Zach and Carlene instantly. I've just got back off holiday. This was recorded just minutes after he hit them. What's that to? So I had to fail. You go 95. What? What's... 95. The legal limit's 35. Is it? Yeah. At the police station, he tried to claim another person had been driving. So I've jumped in passenger. He's in the driving seat, and we've set off. Um, I think he went wrong way to start with, and then I've just fell asleep. I've woke up and we're crashing. He soon backpedalled on those claims, pleading guilty to death by dangerous driving. I've, I've, I've drove into the back of another car, yeah? But I'm not a bad person. In court earlier this month, he was jailed for 17 years and was given a 21 and a half year driving ban. He decided to kill people. His choice. And that, there's no difference from using and a gun. Yeah, and for his reckless mm. driving. There was three bullets fired that, two killed two innocent lives, one went through our family's heart. Zach and Carlene's family have now launched a petition calling for anyone convicted of death by dangerous driving to also be handed a lifetime ban that will prevent them from ever getting behind the wheel again. And no one should have to go through what we've gone through and if we can stop that next person, make them think twice, then we've done some good and Carlene Zach's lives were more than that. Um, so please join us now in our justice for Zachary and Carlene and we will not stop. I will fight every single day that I'm on this earth for them. Abby Smitten with that report. We're joined now on the sofa by Shalorna, Zachary's mum, and Larissa, who was auntie to Zachary. Good morning to both of you. Thank you for coming in. Uh, Shalorna, we're so sorry about everything you've been through, all of you as a family. Do you want to just start by explaining why it's so important for you now to, to, to speak publicly and explain that, that grief and, and, and what we want to happen now? Um, yeah, um... Zach Zachary and Carlene, they were both taken, they were so innocent, um, they were both taken so tragically and it, it didn't sit right with me as a mother and a sister to just sit and let that just be normal. It's not normal. And if we can now do something to help next families, hope us um, in getting a bit of justice, then we're doing something for them both. Um, and that's why I need to do it mm. for them both. You need to do yeah. it. It feels like you can. Yeah. Yeah. Have, yeah. Of course. Yeah. And what is it that you want now? Um, yeah, so he got sentenced to 17 years and we knew we knew it was we knew he wasn't gonna get a life sentence and that it was just never gonna be long enough. But the driving ban, the lifelong driving ban, it should be mandatory. I don't know why we're giving people more and more chances. It's protecting the criminals rather than the families and everyone else on the streets. It's protect we're not protected by these people, giving them chances after chances. He got a driving ban of 21 years. Mm -hmm. He's in prison for 17 years. So most of the time he's banned from driving, he won't be able to drive because he'll be in jail anyway. So what were you, you saying that's a, that's a nonsense, doesn't make sense. It is, it's, it's, it's yeah, it's nonsense. Um, it starts from when he got sentenced, so when he gets released, he only serves two thirds of his sentence, so it's 11 years. He's got a 10 year driving ban. I just don't understand why we're giving these people 
another chance to do it again because they will. He's convicted before. Yeah. He'll, he'll do it again. Like, mm -hmm. it's will. Putting, it's given them the option and they shouldn't be given the option. Let's take it away from them and anyone else. And, and the details of the way he was driving, I mean, drunk and at a speed 140 miles an hour. When you were told those details, um, yeah, it, it actually knocked me sick um, because everyone said he must have been going at some speed, but I never expected that fast. It's a speed that you can't imagine. When we're on the train down, trains don't even go that fast. And it, you just it's unimaginable speed. It, you can't imagine it. I worked it out at 62 metres a second he was travelling. Yeah. Like, it's, it's not normal. Cars shouldn't go that fast. If trains don't, cars shouldn't. Mm -hmm. And as a family, you have already been through an unimaginable amount. What, beyond the petition, beyond this campaign, what else would help you now? Um, do you know? So I think nothing's going to bring Zach and Carleen back, but we want to try and do some good in honour of them. Like, Zach's so innocent. He was an eight-month-old baby and Carleen did no wrong. She was the most perfect person in my eyes, like, me big sister, me best friend, and we just want to do some good in honour of them. So they, like, hopefully looking down and being like, do you know, you are doing us so proud and we don't want them to be forgotten. They don't deserve to be forgotten. Yeah, we've set up the petition, obviously, um, on change.org, and we've managed to get 64,000 signatures already wow. within under two weeks, um, and hopefully it does get put to Parliament, and I would like to be given the opportunity to go to Parliament myself so they can tell me no to my face, say why this shouldn't be a thing. And we're hoping to set up a charity in the name because we want to get a haven room put up in Durham Hospital um, after the names, because when we went to Newcastle, we had a haven room and it was just a private space that the family all went to. And when we visited Carl Carleen and Zach um, in the hospital, it was just away, it was private. And we would love to do that in Durham Hospital because not all hospitals have it. So a haven room, is, it, 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 it's not a medical room? No, it's, it's, it's literally like... Um, a it's home got a little, from home. A home from home, yeah. It's got a, like a bathroom in, um, a little lounge, kitchen. And we'd love to do that. Try and get in as many hospitals as we can. Like really. a safe space kind yeah. of place. Yeah. So you're away from all the busyness yeah. of the of the hospital, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. And now, as you look back on that shocking time, how much did that time in that room help you? Massively. Yeah. The families. We've got family all over, so it was just somewhere we had it. But like we were in hospital for just under a week, and every day we'd be in that room. Um, we'd go back home to sleep, and then come back to that room, and we could just all spend all day together in a nice, safe. Safe place. And bearing in mind how much sadness there can be in hospitals sometimes, it's surprising, isn't it, that hospitals don't, as standard, have a space like that yeah, where, where families no, can definitely. go? Definitely. So I'd, I would absolutely love to do that um, and name it after them both as well. That would just, in memory of them, be amazing. Yeah. You say you want to take this petition to Parliament mm -hmm. in, in case they say no to your face. What will you say when you get there? What do you want to say? What's the message? Tell me why you think we should be giving them a chance again. Just tell me. What is your, what's your honest opinion? Because in my eyes, and I think a lot of people's opinions, why are we giving them another chance? And I want to hear it from them, because that, it could happen to anyone's family. It could, happen, it could be them next. Um, because it's so innocent. I, all, I always drove safe. I mean, Mum and Dad used to always tell me, drive safe, drive safe, whatever journey I went on. And we were, and we're the ones that are punished. So, I just want, if it is going to be knocked back, I want them to tell me why. What is the reason? We're not asking for a lot. It should, <laughs> no. be, it should be already set in stone. If you cause death by dangerous driving, you don't get your licence back. It's, it's, not, it's, it's not a hard thing to ask for. Um, for example, someone has a gun licence, they shoot and kill someone, they won't get a gun licence back. It's the same with a vehicle. They operate that vehicle disregarding the law, why are we giving them that licence back? It's the same. Ms. Sally and I often say that, you know, we're, we're so amazed by the strength people find. Families who've been through, like you have, terrible things in their lives. And from that, they, they gain a, a strength to, to come and talk about it, to campaign for change, to get some kind of positive it, or yeah. some sort of result. What, what does campaigning like this give you after losing your sister, after losing Zach? Well, how, how does it help? It, yeah, it's hard. To me, it gives me a purpose. 
Mm -hmm. Like, we're doing this for them. We're not doing it for us. We're doing it to hopefully do some good to make sure no one else goes through this. And if we don't, it's the life was worthless then. It's not, it, they've gone for, no, and if we can try and get something changed because of what's happened here, because um, if I don't do this, I'll, I think I'll crash. Really? It's keeping me busy, yeah. It gives you a sense oh, of purpose. Absolutely. I just noticed your necklaces that you're both wearing, <laughs> and you've got you've got a Z on yours. Yeah, that and for then, Zachary. Yeah, and then a star, um, one for Carly, one for Zach. That's someone goes. Oh, and yeah. that again keeps their their memories alive, and as as you mm -hmm. go about your campaigns. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, and before we let you go, um, just tell us about Zachary. Oh, um, yeah, he was just. So he was just so happy he was. And then it, it, it was when he first came, he was <laughs> hard and he used to cry all the time. Um, and then as soon as about after two months, he just turned to the happiest little boy. He was, he said, Mama, um, for, for a couple of months and then um, loved his food. And he was such a mammy's boy as well. He was glued to my hip um, and he used to put his hands out up to me. Yeah. Mm. I am. Um... He came to my house on the Wednesday and we never saw him often because of where Shlona lived and I didn't think he'd remember me and then he put his hands out to me and I was like, this is the start of the bond we're going to have. Um, and Shlona said he doesn't put his hands out to everyone and I just knew, like, it, it's all just been ripped, ripped away from us. <laughs> no, and Carly, and she had a daughter as well and she was the best mum, yeah. and they're together now and I know he's getting taken good care of and that it does bring me a little bit of comfort to know they're together as well. Shalona, Larissa, thank you so much for, for coming in and, and talking to us you. and you take care of yourselves and the rest well. of the family mm -hmm. and we'll keep across your campaign and everything you're doing and uh, we'll definitely update our viewers who I'm sure thank are you. sending their yeah. best thank wishes you. to you thank both you. this morning. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.